In medical terminology, prefixes, suffixes, and word roots communicate different types of information. All medical terms will have at least one word root and one suffix. Prefixes tell us time, number, location, and condition. An example of time is pre, as in prenatal, meaning before the time of birth. An example of number is biceps. Bi means two. The biceps muscle is divided into two heads, or parts. An example of location is subdermal. Sub means below, and derm means skin. Subdermal is below the skin. An example of condition might be hypertension. Hyper means too much or too strong. Hypertension means elevated blood pressure. Suffixes tell us condition, surgical procedure, or merely serve as a noun ending. An example of a suffix telling us a condition is tonsillitis, or inflammation of the tonsils. Tonsillo is the word root for tonsil, and itis is the suffix indicating inflammation. An example of surgical procedure is appendectomy. Appendo is the word root for appendix, and ectomy is the suffix for surgical removal of. So appendectomy means surgical removal of the appendix. Noun endings include AC, IC, AL, and many others, as in cardiac or fungal. Sometimes this makes the word an adjective, as in cardiac rehabilitation, and sometimes they merely serve as a noun stem in borrowed Latin and Greek words. Generally, they mean relating to. Word roots describe things, as in body parts and systems. Examples include cardio, gastro, and arthro, meaning heart, stomach, and joint. So, to sum up, words in medical terminology are broken up into prefixes, word roots, and suffixes. Some words, like prenatal, have all three parts, but all words in medical terminology have at least one word root and one suffix. Now, please complete the exercises shown. If you feel confident with the exercises, you should then move on to the next lesson, in which you'll learn how we talk about directions when talking about the human body.